all right guys let's pick up where we left off and i think the last time we had um some kind of problems with um with the if the path was not let me put it to the previous state come on okay so this was our code in the last part and if path actually if not path there is no path then assign the path and when we hit start oh actually it's working now it's working that's amazing thank you all right <laughs> okay the problem was that we're not uh, testing if there is a path or not we we were testing if the path equal null and i think that was um the problem yeah no that's not the problem are you fucking kidding me get path uh, i put it in uh, start let me put it back into away <coughs> so you're seeing the code right it's working <laughs> anyway anyway anywho i don't know maybe <laughs> maybe maybe there was something <laughs> anyway so the thing is uh we're gonna check if there is no path we're gonna assign the path dynamically and that that will happen in the uh get path uh method uh, in the uh, wake method so next what we gonna do uh okay we assign five to the speed in the start method and populate path so if we go to populate path we're gonna look for each node and assign it to the node and then we uh, we create the private method get distance i took the part where i calculate the distance in here and i put it in a private method get distance and then another private get closest node which will return a uh, transform of the closest node and move to node which will turn and move towards to that node and then navigate path which will obviously call move to node that will call get closest node to move to it so now getting back to the main um, let's see how this uh, perform uh, we actually there is a problem in here and you're gonna see it right now the player gets stuck to the first node so uh, how are we gonna fix this this does how are we gonna fix this so uh, there is a couple of ways and um, I think navigate to path I think uh, I'm gonna put the current node in uh, a variable and if I go public uh, public public and oh let me get you back to the other screen okay and you're gonna go public and transform and you're gonna name it current node current node all right so we're gonna assign the current node uh, to we're gonna find the closest node and then assign to the current node and if we are at our current node then we're gonna look for the next node and move towards it so this is how we're gonna change this and I think this will be a better way to do it so where we should do this uh, for now we're gonna start with in the update navigate path navigate path uh, we we'll call move to node and move to we we'll go we we'll call get closest node and get closest node okay it will look for uh, the closest transform in the whole node array actually we're not gonna do that yeah we're gonna get closest node this will get automatically the closest node but we don't need to get the closest node for now we need to just navigate through the node so I'm gonna start another method we may need this get closest node so let it be there and you're gonna go private and it will return obviously a transform 
and this move to next node to next node all right and this move to next node we'll see what we'll take what it will take in the uh, as parameters uh, for now we're gonna go move to the to the next node we'll obviously uh, take the current node all right current node equal okay how are we gonna determine the next node we gonna use the uh, distance variable the distance method sorry uh, var dist equal I think get distance the function is get distance between uh, this uh, 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 dot transform this dot transform and current node current node okay ah, actually it takes vector 3 then it's gonna be dot position and in here it's gonna be dot position okay so all right so now we have the distance if if this if this less then uh, let's say one or two maybe then current node actually this could be a void let's see we, we, we don't have to return anything if the distance is inferior is less than 2 then we're gonna uh, move to the next node which is current node current node equal uh, nodes index this is gonna be a little bit clear in a moment public int uh, index uh, and index will start at zero all right then we're gonna start equal nodes dot index and in here uh, we change the for h to a 4 then if um, count form and index equal a i okay then we return the transform now this would be easy peasy lemon squeezy now if the distance is less than 2 between the uh, the uh, transform of the player, the enemy and uh, the current node pause then current node equal nodes dot index mm -hmm. then index will move forward and the node will take the next the current node will take the next current node and we're gonna move to the next current node so, so in here navigate to navigate to path okay we're gonna see current node current node equal get closest node control x oh shit control x control b and Save it and then move to the next node which is this one all right and that's it that's it we're gonna get the current node if you, that will return that will be returned by this method 
and we're gonna move to that current node and move to next node we're gonna call move to next node in the update I think we're gonna continuously check on the distance so let's see okay let's let's test this Mm. node 33 and index equal to but it's not moving to the index uh -huh. what is the current node transform 1 this is transform 1 why it's not moving to the current node move to it's in move to node current node move to next node let's see current node oh I see So navigate path should execute first to affect the current node and then get closest node will give it. Actually we're gonna start with the first node. We're not gonna use this get current uh, the closest node. Okay, we're gonna start with the nodes, first node in nodes. This should be pretty forward. We shouldn't complicate things path navigate to path navigate path then current node equal node 0 move to node actually this is gonna be node index node index and move to node move to next node if the distance is less than 2 then index will current node will be the next node current node will be okay let's see Are you kidding me? Uh, navigate path. Oh, you're not seeing the code. So, current node equal uh, index dot uh, node the, the end the node in the, the exact index move to node current node update navigate path move to next I'm gonna hit play and see what will happen. Okay, our player is moving in a very very dramatic way oh you're not looking so our player is moving in a very very dramatic way <laughs> all right all right so he should finish the whole node uh, he should keep on uh, going inside the loop uh, hopefully okay let's keep watching or maybe give him a little bit more of a speed why not 50 all right when he hit the last node 
argument is out of range and that should be our 76 uh, current node equal node dot index index okay if index equal uh, nodes dot count Oh, equal. I, I meant equal. Come on, dude. Uh, index will take zero and start again. Let's say I wanted to keep the player in a loop, so the player stays. All right. All right. All right. pretty much working um, except for a couple of nodes that they are not aligned correctly uh, we can ignore it for now or fix the node uh, this node it's not this is the 31 node and from the 31 he goes to the fifth node which doesn't make any sense unless we look in here we will find that no, oh, no, actually. Thank you. Uh, it starts with the path. Okay. So, maybe when we populate our nodes, let me get you back to the programming screen. Uh, get components in children. Why it's taking the path as a transform? It should take only path dot get component get components this will take components in the path and get components in children components in parent this is it get components in children and shouldn't take the path as uh, as a node and that's the problem okay let me let me see This is the first cube, this is the path. Uh, zero. Oh, let me see. So it will go to the path as a first item, and then it will start with cube one. Uh, let me move this a little bit. Oh my god, I keep on forgetting the screen. So if I put this in here. And this will uh, go through the path. All right. Anyway, guys, we're moving through our path. Uh, we're gonna use get closest uh, node in a minute, but maybe not in here. Uh, this will be. Uh, we're gonna use. Gonna use. Don't worry about this. Uh, okay. So 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 so. First. Uh, next thing. So we have an enemy which will uh, keep on moving and this capsule should do that okay and we can have an enemy manager that will uh, generate waves of enemies but that would be uh, in a late stage for now we're gonna create another script and we're gonna name it um, tower okay now for the towers yes reload all yes in the update we navigate to path and we move to the next path we navigate the path by navigate the path we take the current node and we take the index to the current node and then we move to to node and then we update the next uh node can put it in here actually. Move to the next node. Let 
let's see the thing that I don't get is why does the path goes inside the uh, the list it doesn't make any sense at all it doesn't make any sense at all but anyway it should be it should be looking inside the children not inside the, the component itself but doesn't matter so uh, for the towers okay the tower is gonna have a range and what is the towers okay we have our first second our third tower we're gonna start with this tower I'm gonna give it the tower script and we're gonna add uh, a sphere collide mm -hmm. let me add uh, collider and we should have a sphere collider there it is and there is the radius the sphere should be somehow um, okay we can add it a little bit more so it can go into five maybe five is six is the best uh, okay the radius will go to six so what the tower has a tower should have a uh, public uh, a float this is the range of the tower what else um, range of the tower and give, uh, damage oh public also public uh, float damage mm, what else think 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 uh, actually we may add other things to the enemy which is the health we forget about the health and you're gonna go public float and health equal 100 all right uh, and then we're gonna inflict damage on uh, take that we can we can write the faction right now which will be uh, public void uh, take damage I don't know if it's take damage and we're gonna give it a float damage and uh, this take damage will calculate if uh, health equal health or health minus equal damage right and if health less or equal to zero we're gonna destroy destroy this dot game object that's it that's the uh, take damage method and we're gonna kill the player if uh, the health is less than zero and we go back to our towers and range damage uh, what else come on come on of course we can add sophisticated things like type projectiles and things like that but uh, we cannot use uh, basic stuff for now so we're gonna use the same projectile but with different uh, damage okay okay so uh, start and in the start function uh, what you're gonna do sphere collider actually we're gonna copy the sphere collider Actually, we're gonna add it on the runtime. What do you think? We're gonna add the sphere collider on the runtime. Then, so we're gonna remove it. And in the awake, 
awake we're gonna uh, this dot game object dot game object add component of type sphere sphere collider thank you and then and awake mm, yeah let's do this in the awake and then collider uh, equal or var var collider equal get component equal get component sphere collider and then we're gonna go collider dot uh, radius equal I remember we put six was a great number so now whenever we create on play this uh, tower gonna add the collider and give it a radius of six which is amazing now oh I keep on forgetting so this is our tower class we put the range the damage and in the awake function I added the sphere collider and then get the component there and added a radius of six now what the tower will do now we should actually there is a, an event implemented with the physics in unity called on collider and on collision enter or something like this on collision on collision enter yeah that's it actually on collision enter the collision all right let's grab the collision okay on collision enter var uh, enemy enemy equal collision collision dot game object okay and uh, okay a tower should have also a cooldown um, public float uh, cooldown time cool down time which is uh, will be something we're gonna initialize all these variables in the um, oh public sphere collider sphere call like this and sphere call will get the collider component and now we can start sphere call dot radius equal six and damage uh, one I think one M in damage so damage equal let's say it makes a 10 as damage this is a very powerful uh, tower and what else cooldown time equal one maybe let's see one second or one frame it depends one second actually can't be one frame so or 0.5 this would be amazing this would be better okay so let's see uh, what else cool down time damage and radius okay now on collision enter we're gonna get the enemy that we collided with and um, what else we're gonna get the enemy and then actually array of enemies we're gonna have the array of enemies and oh maybe this will be very useful in this situation get the closest node this will be get the closest enemy and now this is useful okay we're gonna get the closest this will be the enemy all right and we're gonna have a list of all our enemies public 
um, it's uh, I don't know if it's a game object or simply list. Uh, I'm gonna go with uh, game objects. Game objects. Enemies. Uh, so it's a list. Okay. Then list of game objects. Okay. We have a list of uh, nodes in here. Okay. So yes, not an array. I was checking if I was working with an array or a list. Uh, okay. So a list of game objects enemies equal obviously new list of game objects and that's it. So we're gonna fill our list of enemies in the collision. So simply put uh, var on collision enter radius 6 we can also get the uh, we could use um, another um, like basic class to put in these um, methods get distance and this uh, at whatever we're gonna use it this is not the best way to do it we should actually we're gonna make a static class create C sharp and we're gonna name it utilities because we use this in utilities reload all yes and we don't really need the mono behavior and it's public static class its utilities and of course there will be no uh, need for the start and update in no mono behavior uh, class that doesn't extend from mono behavior so my point is now we're gonna put all this useful stuff in here uh, like for example get the closest uh, object control X and control V right so get the closest this will be object and <clears throat> this will be public static method and in uh, we're gonna give it a couple of uh, values so get closest object will take a list of objects list of um, transforms all right a uh, list of Oops. what else so we will not need this this and the nodes will become list of objects list of objects and this will not be necessary in here and get distance between oh I'm going to get distance now okay we're gonna move the get distance in here but First, let's check um, list of objects. Okay, so it doesn't equal list of object number one and best distance equal math dot infinity. And if the uh, if the distance is per distance, then this equal distance and transform equal node to be as verbs and index. Mm, uh, maybe we don't need the index in here as long as we're gonna return a uh, transform. So closest node is or closest object is and from that name that will be amazing uh, except for the uh, get distance method so it should take two elements so we're gonna save in here and go back uh, to our enemy get distance control x and you're gonna put it in here and of course it's gonna be a public static load get distance position number one position number two and uh, we're gonna return the distance so get distance uh, so get closest object two two and we're gonna give it another object in here or transform uh, Transform or object. 
to obj is obj to obj okay and these two obj will be our element that we gonna calculate the bar this if we get distance and get distance it's in here now we go back to our enemy and you're gonna use our utilities class dot get distance and this is done okay now we can use it whenever we want um without any problem okay move to node this is done and navigate to path this is done uh, move to next node uh this is technically um uh, 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 a method that is reserved to the enemy class populate path uh, I populate path I don't know okay let me check let me check with the um so this is the utilities class then we are okay in here and if we go to the wake start and on collision collision that game object now we're gonna add to the list the object that we collided with okay and on collision stay is something else on collision stay On collision stay, we're gonna keep on firing on the uh, uh, closest enemy, and on collision exit, we're gonna look for the closest uh, enemy except that one that just uh, exit the collision uh, range. So this will be on collision exit. So on collision, on collision enter, we're gonna add the enemy to the list of enemies. Then this will be enemies dot add collision to game object actually it takes trans oh list of this will be transforms transforms uh because we use transforms and we don't need the game object the whole game object. okay so now we're gonna do uh enemies excuse me enemies dot add and we're gonna add dot game object dot transform and you're gonna add this enemy to the list to the uh, on collision enter <coughs> and this is the first enemy that enters the collision then he will be stayed in the collision circle uh, unless 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 on collision stay it's something else okay we just add the enemy and we remove the uh, in here we just add the enemy and on collision enter we just remove the enemy let's see dot remove uh, collision to the transform and what else we add we remove and on collision stay we're gonna start firing on the enemy absolutely absolutely so this can be Mm, excuse me for a minute let me think about this so as I said in the collision stay in the collision stay uh, we're gonna we're gonna start firing on the enemy on the closest enemy then we're gonna first of all we take we create a method called fire on fire fire simply fire private fire this method will take the enemy transform of the enemy transform enemy to fire to on and uh, in fire of course it's a void I think yeah uh, and in fire we gonna um, game object or var instantiate come on var uh, what we named B bullet or projectile proje proj it's enough actually projectile it's better projectile equal uh, game object dot instantiate uh, 
object. Substantiate a cube. Mm. Let me see. I don't know what type mm, primitive type primitive type dot um, sphere I think it should be a sphere and uh, then we can associate We're gonna we're gonna add this later on. Uh, it should be the turret, the turret head, and, and we're gonna add a game object in here called public uh, game object. take uh, a turret head come on update come on to update oh, there is uh, an error in the compiler oh okay 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 And uh, that's it, it's done. And if we go back in here, and this should update in a second. So, if we put the uh, this is the list of the enemies, and this is our collider, and the turret head will take the tower turret head. I think it's the cylinder. in the middle okay okay it doesn't matter we're gonna put it uh turret head actually we need the whole uh the whole element because it's gonna rotate at certain point all right we're gonna look how we're gonna do this but uh, we're gonna fix it we change the uh, spawning point okay so now the turret head it's is in place um what else so we have our turret head and our collision enter we're gonna add the enemy to the list of enemies and on collision stay we're gonna get the best the closest enemy and we're gonna start firing uh, on it so fire we, we associate a projectile and then the projectile uh, we should fire unless unless we are looking to the enemy let's see let's see let's see how we're gonna do this on collision enter um, okay so on collision enter we're gonna use our uh, var uh, enemy utilities dot get closest objects object to and list of objects it's enemies and 
and the two obj this is a tower to this element to this dot transform all right <clears throat> now we have our closest enemy let's debug its name debug dot log uh, the closest enemy is uh, I think I've put the debug.log inside the utility yeah the closest object is okay all right all right all right so we don't need it in here and all right so let's see let's see how this is doing okay let's add this to the other turrets and okay let's start with one turret let me get you back to the main screen and we hit start it entered into collision with the sphere collider actually oh. okay let's wait let's wait all right so nothing happened okay there could be many problems the okay let me see the uh, collider on the sphere okay it's okay the collider is fine all right so the collider is fine and um our turret mm, is trigger okay uh let me see uh, this is our turret I'm gonna remove this box collider. I'm gonna hit play. We have another collider. Oh, I. The capsule is not registering on. collision enter okay it's on over here and the on collision enter is not okay let me see even on collision stay it's not working okay maybe we need to fix a couple of things but Alright, so this is uh, my opinion, it should work. gonna fix this okay guys so we're gonna continue this i'll be back in just a minute okay